How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Katama Shoujo. So, this is gonna continue. Last of all. <coughs> it comes out more accost acco accusatory than I intended. Accidentally lashing out on her. But even so, I really don't want. I really want to start. I don't really want to start talking about it. I just met her. I don't know her. It's just not her business. Uh, the nurse seems to be happy, ignore happily ignorant about confidentiality too. Uh, talking about that kind of thing in public. But it's not Rin's fault, is it? I look up at her, suddenly feeling a bit guilty. But Rin is just staring past my shoulder, quizzically, her head tilted like a bird. I don't know why this is so hard for me. It feels like there's some inexplicable lock, lock that prevents me from being more upfront about this. Yeah, they are for my heart. Will they make you better? No, not really. They just make me a little less worse. Rin ke keeps looking at me for a while longer. And she neither says anything further, nor displays any kind of emotion I could discern. I'm thankful that she doesn't. I think I'm still not quite used to all of this. At the hospital it was easy, but I still haven't sorted my feelings about have, having to live a normal life after this disability. <laughs> With this disability. <laughs> we leave the main building, and Rin leads us onwards towards the dorm. We stop at a small patch of greenery in front of the dorm building. The dorm is built on a slightly elevated ground, with a wall and a few trees that everyone has to circle around every time they come or go. It's probably the only inconvenient design in the school. The entire wall made of the same kind of bricks as the building itself has been covered with some sort of painting. Most of it still most of it still mere sketches, quick line drawn with black and white against the grey plastering that covers almost the entire length of the wall, but some places look a bit more finished. There are human faces and legs and, and hands. I can't quite say that the painting as a whole might portray. Stacks of what seem to be paint, can paint cans are arranged in piles on the ground beside the wall. See? The left side is hardly off the ground yet. It's because I couldn't get to the mood yesterday, so I gave up and went to meditate instead. Then it was suddenly morning. I have to work on it, but the guys from art class are helping with the negative spaces and bases surface whenever, whenever, which is a problem. It's easier to paint big areas if there are a lot of people with hands. The reach is better, and it's faster too. She goes on a tangent of a tangent, waving a little with her arm, or whatever of it uh, there actually is, to demonstrate even though I got the point already. The white cotton of her sleeve flaps around and it makes me think it could look sadder than it, than it does. But it makes me feel out of place, like almost every tangible reminder of the student's basis. Special properties has in the few past few days. The girl doesn't notice my dreary feelings, of course. Or the fact that she lost me a while ago already, and just keeps on blabbering. So that's why I'm trying to figure out if there's something I need to figure out, and then figure that out before it's too late and all hope is lost. Why would the hope be lost? Because paint has to be painted, and then it has to dry, and then it has to be painted over with another kind of paint. It takes time. She finally stops, apparently thinking she made some kind of statement that makes sense. I think it's best to start from the top. So, this is your project. You did this? Yes, yes. All of it. Yes. Nice. But, I stumble with my words, suddenly feeling like I walked straight into a minefield of political incorrectness. It's okay, you can say it. I probably won't get mad. I blush really hard. I don't really know what would be the right thing to say. If any, it feels that I'm way more sensitive than Rin is, though. This is really awkward. Don't you want to ask? What do you paint without the hands? I see. I'm an easy person to talk, right? With my feet. I almost guessed that already, but isn't that hard to do? You're good at guessing. Anyway, I don't think it is, but maybe I'm used to it by now. I can't get my mind around the fact that she could be an artist, but seeing how adept she is using her feet to eat, I figure painting might not be a problem either. Neither of us has anything more to add to the subject. subject. The afternoon light works pretty well. I was afraid it would look too flat, but it's not like that after all. I think it's actually pretty interesting. I wanted to see what it looks like in dim light. Do you think it's flat? Uh, well, painting tends to be flat. 
not like that flat, you know, flat like some people are, no substance, no meat, there's where there should be some. I know a few girls that, oh okay, I get it, but I couldn't really tell, I'm not good, that good with art, I can't name many artists or artistic terms, so I don't really have anything to say. She shrugs her shoulders at that, saying, suit yourself, without saying it, and looks up at the sky as if trying to look for something up there. I didn't think I'd get any actual work done, but if you give me a hand with this paint, with the paints, I could do a little bit. I could do a little before it's too dark. I want to get to the Halgen lamp, like the ones they have at the sp a sports track, but there aren't any. Rinshio is quick to recruit my help, as was Shizune. It really makes me feel that the festival is such a big project that every pair of hands is needed. Why not? I'm not really sure if I can be of any help, though. I'm just mixing some paint. You can do. It's just mixing some paint. You can do that. Probably. Do you have motor control problems? Like, you know, those people who have some? C cerebral palsy, maybe? Not that I know of. I get it. Hard thing it has nothing to do with that. She gives me a sly look for no reason. No, it doesn't. Let's do it then. So she sits on an empty wooden box and very naturally picks up a wide brush between her toes and her bare right foot. <sighs> I open up a few of the cans and pour some of the contents into shallow bowls of mixing. The thick paint flows lazily from the can to the bowl, like syrup. syrup. I mix them, creating funny, hypnotic-looking swirl patterns that melt quickly into each other. To form a new, monotone hue, Rin sets to work every now and then asking me for a hand with something or the other. Finding different brushes is easy enough, but mixing the paints to be exact tone this girl is apparently seeing in her head f is a frustrating ordeal. She wants precision down to the last millimeter before she is satisfied, but her instructions are obscure at, at best. At half a splash of green, I crouch down to pick up the can of bright green. The other green, this green. I carefully pour some of the other green paint into the mixing bowl. No, that's almost a whole splash. More white. Is green a co good color to add? No idea. You're the artist here. A hint of smile appears in the corners of her mouth. <laughs> do you like? Do you like an opinion? No, it's just I have no idea. It's okay because I just got an idea. Add more white. With this exclamation, I pour a minuscule amount of white into the bowl and mix it. It looks slightly whiter. That's not good. It has to be like, like the color when you wake up and you know. That you saw the meaning of life in your dreams, but can't remember. Maybe that's yellow. Maybe it's yellow. Despite that impossibility of mixing a color like the change of season or any other nonsense that's being imposed on me, I find myself enjoying it more than I thought I would. Seeing a painting being born on a plastic wall feels like magic. I spend the moments I have between mixing paints crouching down on the paving and just looking at her work. It feels slightly intrusive at first, like breaking some imaginary intimacy, but Rin doesn't seem to mind at the least bit. Maybe it's just in my head. Her entire presence emits a completely different air as she patiently works the details, adding layers of paint on top of the other layers of paint, steadily moving her foot across the wall to add new shapes. When I manage to produce a passable mixture of paint, it, the rare smile on her face is oddly rewarding. Apart from the few words when discussing paint mixes, neither of us says a word for the longest time. And even those short discussions soon evolve into a shorthand, both of us developing and using weird impromptu code words for various paints and hues. As if there are some need to conserve words and breath and sound. And it becomes dark! What's my drink? We stayed out late into the evening until it becomes too dark to paint properly. The sound of an alarm pulls me out of the fit full slumber and into the unpleasant state of wakefulness. I'll lend you under the blanket for a few minutes, gathering energy to rise up while making excuses as for why I have already haven't. Honestly, I wouldn't mind staying here for a whole, for all day. School is surprisingly exhausting after a long pause, and the culture shock still has not faded, I think. Still, despite getting an impression that skipping class is easy here, I don't think they are going to let me stay stay away that easily. That easily. 
and the nurse is bound to keep breathing down my neck with the talk of exercising as well. So eventually I do rise up, swallow the morning medication and put on my old soccer job clothing. Thanks to my condition, I was accepted to taking part in gym classes at Yamako, so I didn't get issued with the gym's outfit. I'd order some to cover such a contingency, but wearing my old soccer clothes is kind of nostalgic. I can't use them I can't use them for that anymore, so maybe I can get a new life this way. A bit like me. After all, if I'm going to start taking care of myself, I can't afford to slack around. I'll start from the basics. Basics should include myself <laughs> which include keeping the rest of my body in shape along with what what little I can to do strengthen my heart. Maybe maybe then I can go back to something approaching a normal life, or at least something where I'm less likely to fall over dead at any minute. I'm surprised to discover that I'm not the only one present at the track. Not just that, but it's a face I've seen before. The prosthetic legged girl who bowled me over in the hallway yesterday is running on the track lightly. Li or lith lithly. Lethally, like a half mechanical gazelle. What was her name again? It was a short one, but I can't remember. She seems to be running laps at a somewhat, somewhat easy lope. Her prosthetic legs clacking rhythmically on the hard track surface. I wonder what reason she has for running this early in the morning. Maybe it's something akin to mine. And the nurse is oppressing, <laughs> and the nurse is pressing the poor girl to jog, just like he is oppressing me. I certainly wouldn't be here if it weren't for my health, and he's prompting me to do so. And even with the things being like they are, it's only because I wanted to get out of the way early. The fact that I would be less likely to encounter someone who who would witness my pitiful attempts to get in shape was merely a happy accident. I'd leave, but it seems my former assailant noticed me on her last lap. She waves at me cheerfully and jogs over. Still in gym clothes? We've only seen her in gym clothes so far. <laughs> Good morning, your name is Hisao, right? She grins, seemingly pleased that she'd remembered my name. You may not remember me. Amy, I knocked you over in the hall yesterday. How could I forget such a, a blunt introduction? Amy has the decency to look vaguely apo apologetic for a moment before giggling. Yeah, sorry about that again. Well, hmm, well, so long as you don't make a habit of it, I suppose it'll, I'll be fine. Great! GREAT! <laughs> Reference to... <laughs> I'm not sure she realized I was joking. So the spy consultant the nurse was talking about... Is that actually you? That's right! Oh, I was expecting someone from the nursing staff to be honest. What are you saying? I don't look like a... I don't look like I could be a spy? No, this is more like a relief. I was afraid he would be, have someone to watch my every move. Unless you are here to do exactly that. No, I'm here for my own reasons. The nurse just asked me if I'd seen a messy-haired transfer student who, who looks like he's kind of lost around the track. So why are you down here? Hemi strikes at the dramatic poise. Ding! Training! For what? Track! Oh, I see. You're on the track team then. Hemi not enthusiastic. <laughs> yep, I'm one of the better runners too. And modest about it too. Hey, you should join up. It's good exercise, you know. I think that much activity was probably out of the question for me. Nah, I'm not even sure I, that I really like running all that much. Plus, I'm not into, I'm not, I'm just not into organized sports, you know. It's true, I never really got that much into soccer. I mean, I'd run around with my friends and all, but that was really the only reason I ever played. It wasn't for the glory to be found on the field, that's for sure. Amy seems to understand my meaning. I see, I see. Not that into the whole organizing organization thing but now that you're here I guess you're going to run to we're, I guess we're going to run together huh uh, what uh, you're sure I guess Amy seems pleased are you going to warm up real men don't warm up oh no you always should warm up bad he saw she's calls me in I can't pronounce this word enthusiastically but then smiles and leans closer I hate warming up too she laughs suddenly. Heck, I don't even remember. I don't even have to stretch my legs. As if to confirm her statement, she bounces up and down a couple of times, giving a passing impression of standing on a pair of springs. Her leg blade seems to be quite elastic. Oh, show image. Oh, I can do that. That would be useful. Let's go! So we both take off 
running the track, a choke around the track, and I immediately see that she wasn't lying about being good at running. Amy moves fluidly, throwing herself into the run with the sun sort of wild abandon. I find myself concentrating more on running, probably. Hand spread, right? And something about hitting the ball, the balls of your feet, rather than the heels. Balls? What balls? I try to match my stride to Amy's, but it's pretty difficult. Apparently, I'm not very good at it. Maybe Amy could help me with that sometime. I'm really not feeling up to more than a couple of laps today, and slow to a walk pretty quickly. Amy keeps running, and doesn't seem to notice I've stopped until she passes me a second time. She quickly skids to a halt, breathing steadily in contrast to my own somewhat gasping demeanor. Finished already? I hang my head ruefully. <sighs> yeah. I'm not very good, and I'm not in very good shape right now. Amy nods, and then grins at me again. She seems to do a lot of smiling. Well, the important thing that you started, right? Next time you have to try to hold out longer. And then longer and longer, and eventually you'll be great in your image. Happy face. I'll keep that in mind. But I think right now I'm going to get ready for class. Shouldn't you? Amy shrugs unconcernedly. Nah, I got plenty of time. I noticed that she's not wearing a watch. Are you sure? Another careless shrug. Not really, but I've got to finish my routine. See you later, Hisao. Uh, yeah, see ya. I'm not sure whether this morning experiment was a success or a failure, but I'll admit that I do feel slightly good about getting out there in this morning. And like Emmy said, I should I just need to keep at it in order to get better, right? Practice makes perfect or something like that. It's nice to at least feel like I've been taking some semblance of control over my own health. I'll have to try to keep up this time. I'm not blah! wrong, but yeah. I head back to the dorms to wash and chase into my uniform, trying to resist the urge to take a really long and hot shower. I I'm tired from all that running, so I just want to unwind, but I don't want to break my slowly building routine of getting to school before the morning rush. Oh, steamy, isn't it? After taking a long shower anyway, I dry myself off to get out of the stall to put on my clothes. Out of nowhere, a shadow appears within the mist, looming and radiating malicious intent. It bursts through the wall, the fog. Kenji, is that... Oh, it got censored. <laughs> Good riddance, I didn't want to see that. What are you doing here? What the hell? You scared me. What's your problem? <coughs> I should be asking that you that. I've been looking for you all over the place, man. What do you mean, all over the place? I want to ask if you've been looking for me like that. Start naked. But hold my tongue back. I finally realize that I'm still I'm still naked too and quickly hold my shirt in front of me. But Kenji doesn't seem to notice a thing. His glasses are fucked up, but then why doesn't he wipe them off? Is his vision so bad it's like he's purposely seeing through fog? You know, your room and yeah, that's it. Hey, I mean, I still had to get up though. Whatever, it's not important. Can I borrow some money? He puts on an innocent face and looks away, trying to very hard to look very casual. It doesn't work. He's as transparent and his window pane size glasses. Talking neutrally like this, wearing cl nothing feels awkward. <sighs> Actually, somehow it's even more awkward to be naked in front of someone when they can't see me being naked. So say something the fact that he's naked as well. I try to brush the feeling off with little success. Money? Sure. Awesome. Wait, why do you need it? Ah. Uh... Can't you just give me to me because I had a good will not to run it through your pockets while you were in the shower? I could have, but I exercised restraint, and in the end, isn't it the thought that counts? Come on, be a pal! This makes no sense, as it's a thought that counts. If it's the thought that counts, I should withhold the payment, since his thoughts were so clearly impure and his intentions are probably even more sinister since I can't tell since he can't tell me what they are. I say as as much to him. I'm offended, man. But if that's your game, then fine. I guess I have no choice. I want to order a pizza, and I already have most of the cost of the pizza. I need your help for the rest. I get some I get some of that pizza too, right? No. Are you serious? Yeah, I would give you some, but you have class. You don't have time to eat a pizza. What about you? I'm not going to class. I have to wait for the pizza and pay the guy, and then eat it. It's not easy. You have to obtain the pizza stealthily. 
If you don't, everyone will see you and the pizza, and they will ask for a slice. It's a hard world out there. Everyone wants a piece. Then you're left pizzaless in an unforgiving world. It happened before. That's how I know. Every day I plan vengeance so that when the people who wrong in order wrong me order a pizza, I will be there, ever vigilant. Kenshi strikes dramatic pose completely without irony. But yeah, I need like 400 yen, please. You're my only hope. I can't go outside and buy um, my own pizza, it's too far. I try not to get out unless it's absolutely necessary. Let me tell you what happened the last time I went out, carefully planning it out. Without carefully planning it out in advance. I was outside. I can't remember what I was doing. Something standing. Maybe wondering how I got there. And then, out of nowhere, it happened. Like a flash of lightning splitting the sky. Like you split a sandwich into two equal pieces to make it more manageable to hold and eat. A bird crept on my head. It was the second most shocking moment in my life. What was the first? He ignores me and keeps going. I, I want to grab and shake him. He's just trying to keep... Is he just trying to keep momentum? I'll go with that. Even if it's more likely he just didn't hear me. It was like an opening to some kind of anime show. You know, how they always how part of the main dude is fighting his rival and they fly each other at the class shorts. And class shorts. And this like big fanatic call of hours and boom. <laughs> it was like that too, but with poo. Okay. So yeah, I need some money. Please, don't leave me hanging, man. I only need, need like... Th Wait, it was 400 before! I thought it was 400. Okay. What? I'll pay you back, I swear. You better. That's what it means to borrow stuff. I don't know when I'll be able to pay you back. You have one week. Ah! Katie winces and makes a noise like a dying cow. And partic particularly disturbing fact giving that his baton is conducting freely. You're not supposed to be so tight assed about money between brothers in arms, man. Men have it bad enough as it is. Did you make? Did you know that male porn stars only make about half of what female porn stars make? That doesn't mean anything unless you're a porn star. So maybe I am a porn star. On the side, struggling to make ends meet as I fight the feminist agenda. And you can't even spot me with your crumbs, you bastard. Nobody understands. Nobody. Wouldn't feminists be against pornography in the first place? This feminist agenda stuff again? This stuff is important. I can see that you don't give a shit, but this is serious here. Feminists are a dangerous enemy. Enemy. Make no mistake, you take them lightly and you'll wake up in the morning with a knife in your back. BAM! Out of nowhere. How do you wake up in the morning if someone stabbed you in your sleep? Women are terrible. <laughs> Women are terrible at stabbing things. I thought you said you don't take them lightly. Well, I mean, don't take them lightly for big things. Individually, they are not a threat. But if there was some kind of war, like a big war, with men on one side and the feminist forces on the other side, it would be pretty ugly. And that day will come when the feminists come out of their central top secret worldwide feminist headquarters and say, It's all now, motherfuckers! You're being ridiculous. There's no big worldwide war, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it had to be massive. You couldn't... You could you couldn't hide that on Earth. Someone would notice a big fortress with women only on it. Who said it was on Earth? I turn away from Kenji and start practicing frown his faces in the mirror so that I can figure out what kind of frown will best express my emotions. He can't see me from the distance. From this distance, anyway. Which unfortunately means that he just keeps on ranting without any regard to sense or sensibility. Yeah, there's a war going on. A war on a war not many know about, but it's a great one that be, that will one day boil over and encompass all of the known world. Then we will have to pick the sides. Pick sides. We will have to make a stand. In fact, it's happening right now. Imagine it. A bloody battlefield. A vicious conflict without end. I almost gave up when I thought this, w this cause was silly when I grew tired of the bleakness of our fight. Then I mistook the time, the power went out for the feminist raid and thought the end was near. But then I realized then that if I gave up, it will be all over. And I was like, whoa! I knew I had to get serious because I am the last sane man in the, in the insane world. It's about duty. Must be a pretty crappy movement if all the hinges on one naked guy running on bath, <laughs> running in the bath, running in bathroom at another naked guy. So, can I have the money? 
He's blocking the way out. He's getting cold because I'm still naked. And I want to go to class. So I agree to spot him the money. Awesome! Thanks, dude! We should go bowling later on. Hey, his saw! Let's go bowling! <laughs> bowling? Yeah, it's the ultimate sport. There's almost no women bowlers either. Making it only also the manliest sport. Should I wear my pink bowling shirt with matching shoes or the pastel green with flower accents? There are bowling clothes? <laughs> there are b maybe. Anyway, you had better pay me back. I can pay you back in stuff, right? I don't have the time to ask him to elaborate on what that means. I don't know. As I get to class, you're kind of in the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't want to hold you up. And I have some stuff to do myself. The time has to come. The time for what? I just like saying that. Okay, now the time has really come. For what? I have to use the bathroom. Get out of it. <laughs> I was going... So, I have to be alone or I can't go. The pressure. Okay, what if someone else comes in? I'll think of something. I give him my practical, practiced frown and it looks like kind of silly reflected on his glasses. He either doesn't notice or doesn't see him. Anyway, I doesn't... Anyway, so I get dressed and run back to my room, feeling as though the eternity has passed since I woke up. That is the time I will never get back. I'll get him for this somehow. But right now, I have to get to class. I'm the first person in class today, although I think I'm a little early, too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer that time with Kenji. The combination of fatigue, frustration and boredom starts making me feel very tired. I black out for a second, waking up with my head hits the surface of my deck, rubbing my forehead. I realize it's a good I realize this is a, this is as good a reason as to any to stay up for now and stop coming to class so early later. Eventually I hear tapping noise outside the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears She's not in this class, so she must have some other other business. Maybe looking she's maybe she's looking for Hanago. Lily stops at the door, looking hesitant as she was and she was a vampire who can't come in unless invited. I consider doing so because he looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps into her own accord though. After strangling her skirt and shirt collar, as it was the importance to look prim when entering our classroom. Excuse me? She calls into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. I realize the silence might unnerve her because of her blackness, so I break it. Good morning, Lily. Hey, so, good morning. I didn't hear you come in. I wonder if she thinks I'd suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely if I were to tell too big a lie now, it would sink me. <laughs> well, I was already here, just asleep until now. Oh, have you seen Hanako today, by any chance? No, she seems to come in only before the bell rings. Or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange, but I do think we're the only two people in the school right now. I didn't hear anyone else on the way here. And I'm gonna stop it here. Record it for a bit too much, I think. So, I'm gonna leave it here. So, wait till next time for more Katawa Shoujo. I'm not gonna leave you with high five. You ready for the high five? We're gonna go. Uh, slap it on my face here. You ready? Here we go. Woo! Major Victoria, what are you doing here? I'm not here on Academy business. Surely you realize that. You're Cedric's guard. Gold star for you, young man.